Welcome. This is a gaming channel. We're taking action. We're not just all talk. Welcome to Polish Productions, where we game better and we're talking about important stuff. There's a battle for power in the entertainment industry in America. It's becoming more prevalent in gaming and has been infecting movies and television for years now. We're here to acknowledge these power dynamics and even the attack on American values and entertainment, but the video will be focused exactly on the response we're going to have and how we're going to fight back. I don't know if we can accomplish it in 2024, let's try, but we definitely want to make it that we control gaming in 2025, let's do it. I'm also going to link at the end a response I made with the Liza P video game as the white gamer to the call for the final purge from white gamers. I think it's awesome, I'll put it at the end, check it out. And I'm going to review my X page so you guys know that I have the content to back up what I'm saying in the white gamers on All Talk. I'll take you guys there in a couple minutes, I'll give you everything. You guys know most of the culture news and how things in high up games media, the talking heads are pushing DEI and wokeness in gaming, trying to determine the content of the games we play and the games we love. So like, comment, subscribe. If you want to learn to game better, join the entertainment renaissance in 2024. I'm giving people the power back to control content at home. We're bringing back American values and entertainment. This is the entertainment renaissance in 2024. We're taking back the power to control content. We're weeding out the so weirdos in the stuff. stuff. Messing white gamers. Blacks for Trump, by the better. way, over here. Let's stay base. Let's stay blessed. We're ending wokeness in gaming. And in addition to taking gamers in a better direction, I'm bringing new gamers on to Sony Gaming Tech in 2024. We're gonna do a couple parts here. It's gonna be a little bit of a rant and talking about the problem with our gamers and how the media is able to control gaming through brainwashing our people and how we need to help them to help gaming and help America. Then we're going to talk about who's in charge and we're going to give the response information. This is a plan of action. We're moving forward. We're also bringing incredible promotional gaming content to get parents and people into virtual reality, get people gaming right, gaming America first. That's going to help us take back control of gaming after we solve this problem. Also accepting Xbox transplants with love because we all know Sony has the best gaming tech and these guys are just denying reality. Living in cope, living in soy, living in resentment. Let's help them out, though. I mean it, gamers. Let's get you guys on Sony, get you guys feeling better about your gaming. We have so much to talk about. I have content made for you guys to check out. I have unreleased content. It's the best virtual reality promotional content in the world. I still game flat screen, but I'm making video games cool by promoting them the right way and promoting virtual reality the right way. It's not just for hardcore gamers. You guys should all check out my VR stuff. It really is a better way to game. It's cinematic. It's done really good for you guys. And I'm taking the parents uh, virtual. It's really important. I'm telling them this, this stuff was marketed to the hardcore gamers as the next hip thing, better than flat screen. And it is, guys. And I do both. We'll talk about it. We're, we're here to talk about the power dynamics. We're getting into it. But virtual reality is also for non-gamers in small doses as a form of therapy and that's how we're breaking the hardcore virtual reality gaming market we're i'm getting non-gamers involved in virtual reality i got the videos made they're awesome i'll show you guys some stuff for checking out my channel check it out on my x like comment subscribe if you guys don't think sony has the best gaming tech if you're brainwashed about stellar blade if you're one of the woke weirdos siding with ign and kotaku i say it with love you are brainwashed and the way we are going to take power back to control our gaming and take it back from the people that have it now is we're saving the brains of the gamers and we're learning to game better. And one of those things is we need the soy boys to be accepted. Learn to love yourselves and learn to love the country. If you're one of the woke weirdos, you want to be a perv and you want to defend the indefensible things that these people are doing and the attack on white gamers and the gamers. By the way, my moniker is the white gamer. We'll get into that. I got plenty of responses made clowning on these people. I'm going to show you guys I'm coming in as the white gamer. If you're one of those people that's not siding with the real Americans and the real gamers, it's because you're brainwashed. If you know you're being brainwashed or you feel something's not right or when guys like me are clowning on you and you're like, you feel it because you know you're being a loser, I say it with love. I've made changes. I've learned to love myself. I've learned to love the country. I've learned to be a gamer into my adult life and game better and not, guys, like, 
comment, subscribe. I'm here to help you game better, help you game the right way, learn to love yourself and the country as a gamer. I'm making video games cool in 2024. For all of us, check out my Tom McDonald Resident Evil 4 content. Guys, he's an awesome cultural figure. He's got a thing called Hangover Gang. Part of the reason I use him is to hype you guys up on his content, but I want to build the Hangover Gang of gaming i want to i want to build the gaming community that's going to save american values and save our entertainment we're doing it let's get into these woke weirdos controlling our stuff right now then we'll get more into the response and i will direct you guys to my content so you know that the white gamers not all talk and that i'm putting it together and i'm making stuff for the parents i'm making stuff for you guys and we're doing this we're breaking the hardcore virtual reality gaming market we're taking back the power to control content in our games we're fighting back. We're taking the game or we're virtual too for the parents and the guys that need it. You know what? We can do this in two minutes, guys. I've tweeted with Alyssa Mercante, the head of Kotaku or the head game designer, game media reporter, whatever. It doesn't matter. She's up there and she's in power. She said a cell phone tweet. I'm putting it up. A cell phone tweet that she's coming to woke the games. This is not a small thing. This is... The, this, these are the people that wanted the Tomb Raider game not remade the same way. They want to change the aesthetics of the characters. They complain when the women are too attractive. These are the people that are clowning on the Stellar Blade game, trying to ruin it, trying to get the um, game developers to bend the knee. Thank you for not bending the knee, game developers. And by the way, the game's fantastic. They can make the character look as great as she wants, especially because the gameplay holds up. Check out my Xbox Saving Soy Boys Stellar Blade discussion. It helps the Xbox guys, but there's gameplay in there. There's boss fights. It's awesome. The demo's the best payoff. These guys are clowns, and part of the reason why these woke losers are in power is because they've brainwashed these people. They continue to do it, that their ideology is the correct way. It's detrimental to the kids. It's detrimental to the mental health. It doesn't matter if you're religious. It doesn't matter if you're traditional. American has nothing to do with that stuff. It just has to do with merit in society, people working hard and having a good life and getting the entertainment that they want and not having content they don't want pushed on them and pushed on their kids and making society collapse. It's really bad. Biden just passed the gender bill. I'm doing a president evil Joe Biden series where I'm using Leon S. Kennedy to break the propaganda market against them with the Resident Evil, President Evil stuff. Here's the tweet. We don't even have to go into this. There's media out there. Grums on X. Uh, Mark Kern, he does reporting on the DEI. They now call it Bridge. It's all crazy. These people are in every company. I have a video about Bob Iger, how he didn't side with the stockholders. He's, he's trying to continue to woke Disney and make gender ideology content on Disney. Uh, yeah, I have I have videos on it. Go check it out. It's featuring Jeremy the Quartering, somebody I'm trying to turn parents on to. You might not like him. You might not know him. If you do, I think he says a lot of good stuff. It's, it's better than mainstream media, even if you don't like him. And I think he's better for parents to watch. And I'm going to try to promote independent creators, even if they're kind of big. It might help me grow a little bit, let's be honest. And even though they don't need hype within the gaming community, maybe people that don't game can get the cultural information they need. Expose these woke weirdos and just help burn down the reporting of IGN and Kotaku. I have a Hellsweeper VR Wrath update that helps burn IGN and Kotaku to the ground. Check it out, Hellsweeper is awesome. It's an update on your gaming, it's an update on your mind. And then, you know what, that's it. We know who they are, we know that they're controlling our stuff, they're funded by the other woke weirdos, the elites. I have a video coming out, Leon S. Kennedy takes down the Mendez boss as Dwayne The Rock Johnson from his COVID propaganda and the stories built for political parody, the, the vaccine, the island saving the president's daughter. But anyway, guys, I'm putting up my Liza P, white gamer response, then we're going into my X page. I'm showing you the videos that I got made for the parents. We know who's controlling the content, we know who's controlling game, and most importantly is how we're gonna take back gaming and we bring back american values we make these people not feel wanted in our media reporting and we make them lose their jobs i'm taking the game or virtual to help do that check out the start of my white p because he's a white gamer the, the, the white p lies a p white gamer response then i'm taking you to my x page that's where the crack content is i got political content to get the parents and we're checking it out guys it's awesome got saving trump i got a video out there politics at psvr2 gamers for trump check it out Saving the gamer brains, saving the parent brains. That's how we're going to win. Yes, 
yes, my boy. Such a good boy to ask, and I'm sorry. It is true. They did call for a purge for everybody with your ideology, and they meant the white male gamers. I'm sorry, my boy. You're not wanted in this world. It's a cruel, cruel world. We're going to have to fight. Let's do it. Uh, so right here, Jules Hardy is the one, Jules Hardy, who is the woman right here, is the one that called for the final purge on the problematic gamers, and she meant the white male gamers, and that's not just white people, that's black people and Spanish people and Jewish people that don't support woke values. So I'm fighting the mad donkey boss in Liza P. It's going to come after this. I kind of played it twice in this video. I, I apologize. But I'm going to put up the pictures and lie, the white gamer, Liza P, he can be a boy in the story. He's going to come in as the white gamer. He's fighting the mad donkey boss who she represents. She's going to be the mad donkey boss. Come on. They kind of look similar. I didn't have to do any editing on this. Put them up and it's going to just kind of clown on them, help end wokeness, hopefully give parents more confidence and courage to say no to wokeness, yes to merit and values in society, and even vote Trump. That's We got to vote Trump to... Uh, Secure that. It's America first, first America last out there. Here's one of the intros to my Tom McDonald God mode. Just talking about Resident Evil 4 VR, still a very important game. I want to encourage for those of you that have played Resident Evil 4 before, many of us have. It's one of the greatest video games of all time. I want to encourage people to revisit it to save money in 2024. And Leon's just patriotic, so I want to help get him to new people. Maybe you'll enjoy more Resident Evil 4 content. The game's incredible. I'm doing it in virtual reality. I really think virtual reality is the better way to game. I've been gaming my whole life. There's nothing cooler than taking the shoes of Leon S. Kennedy inside the headset, inside the action, saving the... And so, yeah, I'm using that game to support virtual reality for people to get active at home, save America, people with emotional and physical limitations. I'm doing boss fights for them. I got videos coming out. It's I'm trying to put a little music and just use the game to revisit. There's a couple games you got to have in your in your repertoire, and especially in 2024, when things are way overpriced out there and Joe Biden reality. That's why I like virtual reality, by the way. We, you just I a bad like Dragon's Dogma too. There was some microtransaction stuff, and I'm a huge Capcom fan. I just came back home. I played Resident Evil 4. I didn't even touch it. Still haven't paid for it. Still haven't bought it. I haven't even looked back on it. I got a Resident Evil 4 Explosions review coming out. Here's one. I think if you feel just a little bit trapped. I'm gonna throw this in the beginning of a video soon. Try to get mission, start off with a piece of crack content. Your mission, should you choose to accept, is to think if you feel just a little bit trapped, if you need something new in life, and if you need something new on your wallet and your mind, give yourself 50 more seconds. A little jigsaw action, come on. Yours. I want to play Resident Evil 4 now, boy. Support the channel, guys. Follow me. I really appreciate it. Help me get to new people. Help me break the virtual reality market. Help me ha make video games cool. Save the game of Brain Save America. Your mission, should you choose to accept I got content, guys. I got unreleased stuff. This is... If you need something ah. new in life... And... I got content, guys. This is just unreleased stuff. This is my ex channel. I'm doing some Final Fantasy stuff. Clive is another great character. He's as awesome as Leon. I got some Hell Sweeper on here. Check it out. I'm talking to the parents. Last one I'll show you. This is a wholesome video promoting virtual reality to parents real quick. 60 oh, seconds. The and then we'll, and then we'll be done. I don't have video of it yet. They just updated this game. It's awesome. I haven't played it in a little while. There's a bow, the throwing knives. I used it. I don't have video of it here. It feels great. The knives feel awesome specifically. I'm here to tell you, if you don't own this game or you haven't gone virtual yet, this game is amazing. It's wholesome fun in 2024. I'm putting parents onto virtual reality, trying to get people new headsets. Even if you are a game quest three, I think the PSVR two is a step up. I'm trying to get parents involved. Anyway, guys, I got to run out. I want to give some love to this game. I want to thank the developers for continuing to support virtual reality, supporting our wallets with free updates. It's really important in 2024. I'm using this game to 
break the hardcore virtual reality market. This game's for more Americans, homeschoolers, people with physical and emotional limitations. They get active at home. They have fun inside the headset. Play Light Warrior. Guys, this game is awesome. It's therapy. Like, comment, subscribe, follow. Bring in more later. Show them to your parents if needed. We can do this, guys. White Gamer out. See you guys soon. Like, comment, subscribe. Help the channel. I really appreciate it. Really helps more crack content to come crack content up on x and up on the youtube channel see you guys soon saving america making video games cool in there boys